much notice. I think that we need to just start start doing and preparing and and yeah. and you know with autonomy there's it it's hard to <laughs> um give teachers full autonomy as well as you know you have to do this because it's best for the students right so we well and that's what i don't know i come from a different background coming from outside of the world of academia um you know there's even even in retail, if you're managing your own store, you have a little bit of autonomy, but you still have to follow what corporate says. And how you do that sometimes is even dictated by them. Right. And, you know, and that's what's a little weird to me is like, you know, don't tell me what I can or should teach. It's like, you, yeah, I'm looking, what do you want me to teach? And I'll teach it and get it done. So I don't know. It's a different mindset, I guess, but. Yeah. But strange stuff yes it is okay so, well, go ahead how's your summer been so far wonderful we did go on vacation last week um and you know we didn't know really what to do where to go everywhere was crowded some things are still closed so we just went up to grand junction colorado and drove around the colorado national you know uh is it national park and did some hikes and then went into Vernal and did some hikes in the Dinosaur National Monument and then we did do, go river rafting down the green and it was a blast. Did you? It was my birthday week too so it was like forced upon the kids they have to make mom happy and so <laughs> there wasn't as much complaining and it was it was like the best. <laughs> awesome. So now back to to life my husband's down in the basement still working and and the kids are back into baseball and dance and swim and volleyball. And I'm like, hmm, kind of liked it when <laughs> Corona had canceled everything so I didn't have to run everywhere. It did change that. Yeah, I think we're going to go to Boise. My mom lives in Boise and my dad and his wife are there visiting at their cabin north of Boise. We're going to go up for a couple of weeks. Oh, nice. And we're going to leave Thursday night. So. Oh, good. I'm glad you'll be able to get away. That's awesome. Okay. How many people are invited to this? Um, we had about 20 parents. Um, okay. Stuart, Andrew, and Julie all RSVP'd. Um, we have about 12 teachers, and I think we're going to have around 10 students. I, one of the students I contacted yesterday um, was like, hey, I have some friends who might be interested in this. And so she actually helped me by pulling a bunch and hopefully if they show up right so that's that's right. my fear right here is that no one will show up and i guess we can still talk it'll just be modified from what i have planned well i just saw Stu on there for a minute just before you popped on and then he popped back off so oh okay so he sh he should be uh popping May he was probably just checking to make sure everything was working so oh, okay maybe making sure i'm i'm prepared prepared <laughs> Sweet. Okay, I am going to take just a second. I'm gonna um, and make a quick note on something. Uh, so okay. you are good. I'm gonna step to... out for. I'm gonna step out for just a second, and I'll be right back. Okay. Cool.
Valley. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. You're on mute. There. Hey, how's it going? Good. Hey, so we're just going to be in the conference room, so it's going to be the whole admin team, at least those that are here in the building. Okay. Who That's is why. here in the building? Uh, me, Andrew, Georgia, and Todd. Oh, good. Okay. I wasn't sure if you, how what Georgia's schedule was, if she was still here, if she moved right away. So, Georgia, I'm glad you're here, too. Awesome. Yeah. Well, she's not in here right now, but she will be. She will be. Okay, because if you looked, yeah. you guys do have some tasks. Uh-oh. <laughs> you didn't up. look. <laughs> It'll be okay. It's nothing bad. Hi, Aaron. Thank you for coming. Hi. <laughs> you teachers are all just so amazing. You do exactly what I ask you to do and show up early. Thank you. Thank you. You're probably all muted right when you come in. Um, I'm going to share this slideshow if you want to kind of look through and see. What to expect for today. <laughs> but oh yes thank you and i was gonna say first thing um just go ahead and put like a t admin that's perfect for you guys um you can rename if you want them to call you there are going to be breakout rooms where you'll be with students and parents if you want them to call you ms or mr or whatever then go ahead and put that as your name Uh, I want to be where Steven's at right now. <laughs> Serious. Right? He was kind of in a psychedelic world a while ago. So I'm liking the beach one too, Steven. Well, we can change it back. We can go back to... Uh... Hey, no, this is summer, right? Oh. So I already got the catch up on Stevens, what his plans are for the summer. Has anybody else done anything fun? Planning on doing anything fun? Just school. Yeah, school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not quite the normal summer break, right? Exactly. If all the students come that have been invited, I think we'll have 10 or 12. So hopefully this will, we'll, we'll see who actually shows up and hopefully it'll be a good thing. I am grabbing some water though, just a sec. <laughs>
Hi, Troy. Good morning. How are you guys? Good. Thanks for coming. Yeah, no problem. No problem at all. How many participants are we going to have today? We'll see if everybody who has said they're coming will come. Um, we have about 20 parents, um, about 10 to 12 teachers. Uh, okay. We've got about that many students. And our admin were all here. Are they all still here? Yes. They're all on one computer. Oh, look, there's lots of you. And Kel, yay, we have a couple of students and some parents. Good to see you all. I just wasn't scrolling through all my pages. Thank you for showing up, you guys. Um, if you will take just a minute and um, change your name so that you have a P, if you're a parent, just next to your name. If you'd like to be called, if you're a teacher or a parent or an admin, and you'd like to be called Mr., Ms., Mrs., Miss, um, put that, change your name to that as well. There will be some breakout rooms where you'll be going to be interacting with each other. So put what you'd like to be called on your, for your name. To do that, you can, um, when you hover on your picture, then there's three blue dots up at the top. You can click on those or where you see your name, you can click on your name and change it there too. Thank you. Okay, welcome you guys. You can just kind of um, take a look, like I said, um, change your name if you need to, add a, a P if you're a parent, a T if you're a teacher, S for student, and an A just at the back part of your name. We appreciate you all for being here. Everyone has volunteered to be here, maybe except for the admin. I did kind of tell them to show up. So thank you all for being part of this. Um, We're happy to be here and volunteering your time. Hopefully we will keep this just to an hour. It's so good to see you. It's been a while. We are going to just kind of wait for about five minutes to start um, to give everybody a chance to be here. While we're waiting, you can change your name and um, whatever you'd like people to call you because you will be in breakout rooms for a little while. And in those breakout rooms, um, for one of the breakout rooms, I will need to know if you are a parent, teacher, student, or administrator. Also, just a couple things. If you are connecting to this call on your phone, that's fine. Um, there will be some interactive things that we do on other sites. So if you are on a computer, that's best, but we are gonna take you however you are. Um, if you are on a, uh, a computer, it's easiest to kind of minimize this screen so you'll be able to double screen at some points. And in fact, I am going to um, put the agenda in the chat if you want to connect to that and see what to expect today. I know it looks like a lot, but um, we're gonna move really quick and stay on task and we'll be out of here by 11.
Good to see a couple students on here and some parents. Good to see my teacher friends. Thank you all. Hello, Mrs. Wild. Yes, Kale. Um, is there a way to uh, turn the Zoom meeting app into like a window? Because right now it's like taking it's full screen on my screen. So what you do is if you hover on your screen and go up to the left hand side, then you can. There should be like the the icons, the red X, and then the green one with the arrows pointing in. Does that? Maybe I just oh. Did that work, Kel? Uh, no, I'm just trying to, I think it might be some, oh, there's an exit full screen button in the top middle. There you go. There Perfect. you go. Ooh, found you it. Now Thank everybody you. else knows too. <laughs> if you press escape too, you'll get out of full screen. Oh, oh. Well. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Mr. Pace. Thank you. So there are a couple ways, press escape, hover in the top left corner, or Go up top and exit full screen. Hope everybody is off to a good start of their summer. Appreciate you all taking an hour out of your summer. Some of you more as you've talked with me or filled out the feedback form. We'll just hang around awkwardly for another couple of minutes. Not that awkward. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but we are going to try and get started in just about two minutes. And whoever jumps on can just jump on and join us as we get going. Um, for those of you that have just joined us, I would love for you to um, add a letter next to your name. And teachers, administrators, um, parents, students, if there is a name you'd prefer to be called, Mrs., um, Mr., Ms., if you have a nickname, you can change that to change your name. Um, if you hover on your picture, then three blue dots should show up in the top right hand corner or where your name appears, you can click on your name and then some options show up. If you're on a PC, you might have to right click and then you can just go to rename and um, change your name and add a P if you're a parent, a T if you're a student, S, oh, no, sorry, S if you're a student, <laughs> T if you're a teacher, A if you're an administrator, and if you're like me, then you can put two letters. Oh, we are a little head. Okay, I think we are gonna just go ahead and get started. So um, thank you all, you all volunteered for this. Some of you were coerced in it to it by me, um, but I appreciate you greatly for being here and um, taking time to, to share your thoughts with us today. Um, just wanted to go through a few procedures so you know what to expect. Um, this is what we're, we're hoping for, is this can be a um, venue where everybody has a voice, but also um, is kind, and we do have some rules. Um, when you're not speaking, go ahead and mute yourself so that we, if there's background noises, if your kids, or if you're like me, your dog's barking in the bar background, then we won't have to hear that. Um, if you do have something you'd like to say, then go ahead. We'd love to, um, you can raise your hand and, and I'll be scrolling through. Um, you can put comments in the chat box. You can unmute yourself and just say, uh, I, I have something to say. We do want you to provide feedback. And so um, if you, you can clap your hands or um, give a thumbs up if you all agree with something. Um, and at the very end, we do have a poll that we are asking for your participation in. Um, continue with the chat box and we'll be watching it throughout. If your chat box isn't up right now, usually if you go to the top of your screen, 
then you have some options. You can click on more and the chat and that will pop up so that you can see that. Um, breakout rooms. We are going to have a couple breakout rooms during this session today. One of those breakout rooms is just going to be random and you'll be in there with people that you might not know and that's okay. Um, there's going to be protocols for those breakout rooms too. You'll be choosing a facilitator and a note taker and a speaker while there so that when we come back to the whole group you'll be able to share your thoughts. This meeting is recorded um, and the private group the private and the group chats will automatically be saved as well. So I just wanted to warn you up front. If you do want a copy of that, then you can email me later and I am happy to provide you with that. Um, if you need to take a break, then go ahead. You can turn off your screen, take a break, whatever you need to do. If you don't want to be on screen, um, you don't want your picture shown, that's fine too. Um, in, when we do break into the small groups, sometimes it, it's, awkward to not see faces, but that's up to you guys. And we will be using Zoom and um, some forms of Google Doc. And I didn't put it in on here, but we will um, have a Padlet question for you too. So, um, parents, you know that you received an email, a Sky Alert last week asking for your feedback. And so this is a feedback that we received from you guys. We're gonna quickly, I'm gonna quickly just rush through this and answer some of these, um, but some of them aren't gonna be answered. And this is because some of those answers are gonna be, come, they're going to be talked about during this meeting. Um, and, and some of them we don't have the answers to yet, quite honestly. The first one, this would have gone over significantly better as a survey. This is kind of our first step. And um, at the conclusion of this, we might decide to send out a survey. We just kind of wanna see what will be best. Um, this, the second question, like I said, I'm also a parent. This is a, a big one for a lot of us, I think. How should I help, um, as a parent, help my students when I'm unskilled and time constrained? And so, um, at the high school level, we're hoping that our students are a little self-sufficient, but it's hard to if they don't know the platform and they don't know what's going on. And then it becomes even harder if we don't know what they're supposed to be doing. How can we help them? And so we're gonna talk about different ways that we can all help to have our students have success. Um, how can we integrate online learning more with our schools? That's in the processes right now. Um, this meeting, I know there's other teachers working on their curriculum of blended learning and ways to make this happen. So just so that you know, we haven't gone to summer and everybody's taking a break. I know a lot of teachers are working on their plans, changing things up and making it so that it works better in, on, in an online platform. Um, there is support from our district and UEN right now. There are a lot of classes being offered um, and you know, nationwide there's classes being offered. And so some of our teachers are taking classes from the district on Canvas and blended learning and other tech tools. And um, some are from UEN. And I know our administration team have been talking about um, different ways they can offer some professional development to help teachers prepare for the fall as well. And we might be able to hear a little bit more about that later, but they might not be finalized on that, what they're doing either. Um, suggestions on Skyward. Um, it really depends. This one is one of those ones that um, is different based on teachers. And, and talking to some parents um, and being a parent, it, it would be nice if there was some sort of way that teachers can get all on the same page. Um, so that assignments show up immediately in Skyward, that would mean for teachers to sync with Canvas or put their grades in from Google. So at least students see and parents can see what is being expected of them. Um, a lot of the stuff though with Skyward, um, it, the, the syncing and, and everything, um, they, it, it just depends on when teachers are doing their grading and things show up. And so that one, we, we can make a plea to uh, teachers to put their assignments in more timely. And um, we just have to realize that sometimes some things take longer to grade than others. Is there a way to keep the structure of a normal day and have class meet electronic means? Um, this is something that I know would be really useful to some. This time, 
uh, when we start in the fall is going to be quite a bit different than in the spring. In the spring, um, what I saw happening with a lot of my students and even my own children is that as soon as the students were kind of home, their jobs all said, okay, we're giving you more time to work. And a lot of students were working during the day, making it difficult to have class at their normal class time. In the fall, Allie, yeah. Can I just interrupt here? Mm -hmm. Um, one of the ideas that we've been tossing around um, is a teacher recording one, one like if, if, if some students are in class and some students are home doing online learning, that one of the sections that they're teaching is recorded, the students know that are home would know prior to what, sec what time that would be so that they could hop on and participate via Zoom or they know that it will be recorded so that they can watch it at their convenience that day. But the next day, let's say, let's say we do do some sort of split schedule where one day they're home, one day they're at school. One, I, I'm not saying we know what's going know. to happen, but if we, if we were to do that, the students would then be responsible for that material because it's recorded and, and it's available to them and they have the opportunity to be on during Zoom. Right. So that's one, one thing that, if that would have addressed that question, but moving along. Perfect. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, uh, another suggestion, Sandy and I talked earlier today. Thank you, Sandy, for being willing to talk to me. Um, she's a teacher in Granite School District, and um, she just wanted to know um, reporting for teachers and how we can kind of be all on the same page and to make sure that we're all working towards the success of all of our students. And um, and that's something that if we do continue, we do want to make sure that we are communicating with our students, with our parents. Someone is communicating in a timely fashion and not just, you know, the last week of the quarter. And so that's something that we need to bring up too. Um, emails, that was like the bane of my existence during this at-home learning. Because as my student was in here, I realized very quickly that she wasn't getting emails. What I found out from the district is that she wasn't getting emails because I did my job as a parent and signed up correctly at the beginning. Beginning. And so I had changed, I had put in my email address because it asked for a home email address. So instead of her getting the emails, I was getting all the emails. If parents didn't do that, then students were receiving emails. There was an email sent out, a Sky Alert sent out how to change that as well. But that's something that we will also address at the beginning of the year, how students can go in and change their emails so that they are receiving emails. Okay what we are doing today. And this is gonna be really quick. As a whole group, we're going to go over our agenda, which is right now, um, and uh, the purpose of the day, and then the collective why. I kinda wanna hear your why. Um, ah, I keep going ahead of myself. There we go. Um, and then after we're gonna go into breakout rooms, there'll be two different breakout rooms, like I had said earlier, one with random people that you might not know, and then one with your group. If you're a student, you're gonna meet with other students. If you're a parent, you'll be meeting with other parents. If you're a teacher, you're gonna be meeting with other teachers, and then the admin, you guys all get to meet together. Um, and we're gonna be talking about the past, and then we're gonna be looking forward, and we're gonna come back as a whole and discuss all that. So since we have so much to do, we're gonna go ahead and hurry on with that. But I do see a quick question in the chat, so I wanna make sure that I see. Um, okay, Emily, I would agree with you. Watching classes was really hard um, to do. And student's attention span, if to go back and watch a whole class, is not great. Um, and so we will, as teachers, we kind of are aware of that. Um, but you know, it just is going to depend on what learning looks like in the fall. And so that'll be something that we will come back to. Hopefully, um, we do know that, you know, attention span to watch a video is probably, you know, the longest they're going to watch is around five to eight minutes. And so, um, as we do record, if we do record lessons, then we might do it in smaller chunks and be able to say, this is going to be on this topic, this will be on this topic. At least that's the advice that we might give. Uh, there's a lot of things in the works, especially if students are staying home in place of going to school, we'll have to figure out some means to do that. 
as we do this though, we do, these are kind of our targets. We are going to be collaborating and we expect collaboration from everybody. That's why we wanted all of you here. Um, as we do this, I want you and everyone to be able to articulate our collective why is why we're here and discover what is best for Harriman High School students, teachers, the admin, parents, what's best for everybody because that's our overall goal. We're gonna create suggestions for the fall and um, mostly we want to give you guys a chance to be heard and to hear what your concerns are. So before we start that, um, I wanted to kind of just go over, I want this to be really, um, I say professional and, and, and yes, I think we can all be professionals as we're doing this. And there are different um, dispositions that we come into this with whether your goal for today is to communicate and make sure that other people understand you or whether you're going to be critically thinking and problem solving because you want the best um, solutions if you are planning on being creative and coming up with great ideas to go forward um, collaborate as a team and work as teamwork if you're going to offer respect honesty and integrity and responsibility or if you're willing to give the hard work and resilience so what I'm going to ask you guys, everybody to take just a second right now, and you can either do this in the chat or write it down actually somewhere and make a personal goal for yourself of one of these things, or maybe a combination of them of what you would like to work on for the rest of our meeting today. So for me, I would like to um, focus on collaboration and teamwork. And I'm just gonna put that in the chat. I'm gonna give you guys just a few minutes to put your own in there. Or again, just write it down on a piece of paper. Uh, and you can see that I'm writing so fast that I'm not even spelling right. So just forget that I'm an English teacher for the summer. Hopefully you guys have taken time and um, thank you. Yes, Emily, it's all so important, right? all of these things. And if you ever can't see anything on the screen, you can minimize how you see pictures and you can also move your group chat around. I know it's hard to, to see and do everything at once on the screen. Thank you, Sandy. Awesome. Yes, Kel, good. You guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you. And if I don't say it enough, thank you all for just showing up. Okay, so some of you are still working on that and your goals for today. Um, as you're doing that, I also want to hear your why. And this is one that's so important. And this is your why for why are you here today? It might stem back to um, teachers, it might stem back to the why of why you're here as a teacher, right? Some of you are here because I sent you an email and asked you to be here. Um, and you can be honest. You can say, Sally made me come. Um, and, but for me, my why is I, I did not love spring. I, I did not love how the feel of it. I didn't love not seeing my students. Um, I didn't love how um, I, I felt like I, I was trying to twist to get things done and and I lost a lot of communication from my students and so my why is how to make it better than the spring that's why I'm here for the fall basically better than the spring awesome you guys yes thank you admin Good. Oh, yes, to avoid the last minute meltdown. Yes, Catherine, completely. <laughs> I'm feeling that. Yes, Aaron, we do need to bring the joy back into teaching because this spring was not very joyful. Um, okay, go ahead and keep thinking about these. This is going to be really useful. This is one of the reasons that we are keeping this chat is because um, I want to be able to take your whys, and, and this is so important as we're going on. Kel, thank you. We want your effective feedback. I'm so glad that you're here. Yes, yeah, Sandy, that's so important. We want our students to still be able to feel important even though we're not in the classroom with them. 
And, and Angie, yes, not just for teachers, but we want to bring the joy back into our students' lives. They are. There's so much stress at this time. I saw it in my own kids and um, everybody. And thank you, Dan. We want your solutions. Perfect. Good, good. Okay. If you've got some more, just keep adding those. Um, I want to let you know, at least as I've designed this, my purpose in creating this think tank is to identify the ideal characteristics necessary to help our students be successful. And that's, that's why we're all in education, right? We want them to be successful. And in order to do this, to create this vision, we need all stakeholders. That's you. That's me. That's the admin, the, the students, the parents. We all have to be able to work together for this. And so that's why we're all here today. Thank you again. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start out with some thoughts. Now, there are a couple ways to connect here. Yes, we are going to be um, sort of leaving this, you can still hear me. Again, it's easiest if you um, are on a computer, but if not, um, you can kind of even just share your thoughts in the chat box. But um, you can click, oh, you can, oh, where did I go? Let me go back to presentation mode. That's gonna be a little hard. Um, Okay, you can take a picture with your phone and complete this um, Padlet question by um, taking a picture of this QR code with your phone. You can click here and it will open up in another window or you can um, copy and paste. I keep clicking on the screen, sorry guys. This into the chat box. And so take a second, this is gonna take you to a Padlet. I'm going to hurry and try and um, copy this so that I can get it in to the chat box for you so you can just copy and paste. Maybe not. There we go. Okay. Is anybody having a problem getting to the Padlet? Once you're in the Padlet, if you have never used a Padlet before, my students, this might be familiar to you guys. Um, there's some questions here. And I want you to take just a minute for, um, to think of these. What went well in the spring? Where did we struggle? This is parents, this is students, this is um, administrators, this is teachers. We all did. I think everybody was struggling. And so um, under each one, to add your comments, what you do is you just click on the X or the plus button and then just start typing. And I'm going to give you just a couple minutes to um, to go ahead and um, type in your thoughts and take a look at what other people have written. So I'm gonna just mute myself for a minute. This is really rare. My students know I'm never quiet. Um, and take a minute to just write down your thoughts. You guys, as you are doing this, if any of you are having a hard time um, connecting or if you don't understand, feel free to private message me 
Um, if that's not working, I'm gonna put my cell phone in here. Um, you can send me a text. I'm here to help you figure this out. Awesome, you guys, thank you. We have so many good comments here. Um, really positive things, really good suggestions, and, and very varied, uh, and you might see that. Some, for some students, it went really well, some it, it was really frustrating. I appreciate the honesty. Um, what we're gonna do, is we are going to have our first breakout room. And how this is going to work is in just a second, you are going to be invited into a breakout room. And once you are in, well, let me hurry and go to um, our next step, um, what we're supposed to be doing in these breakout rooms. Um, we are, the purpose is you're gonna be with four to five random people and the purpose is to be heard and to hear different perspectives. You're going to um, come together around the why for Harriman High School, basically. You're gonna take a look at the comments on the Padlet, click the heart icon if you agree and use these comments to create an elevator speech. Now, if you've been in FBLA or other um, organizations, you know what an elevator speech is. If not, I'm gonna explain that in just a second. Um, you're gonna do some quick introductions because we don't have very long in these big breakout rooms. You'll have about 10 minutes. And you are going to determine who in that breakout room is gonna be the facilitator. We need a note taker and the speaker. Facilitator, you're gonna just, one of you is just gonna volunteer. <laughs> and you're gonna be leading the team through the protocols. You're going to maintain the momentum. You're gonna make sure that everybody is on task and keep track of time to make sure that you do that as well. Note taker, you're gonna be taking notes. In the breakout room, you can take those notes right in the chat box and everything there is only seen by your breakout room. And so when you are finished, you're gonna wanna copy and paste that so that you can share it with the rest of us when we come back to the whole group. The spokesperson, that's gonna be, you're gonna be the person who when we do come back to the whole group, you share the ideas of what you discussed with everybody. Um, next how to do an elevator speech. Well, you're going to imagine you're in an elevator and you have 30 seconds while you're going to the next floor to talk to somebody else and explain the online learning that took place in the spring. Facilitator, you're going to lead this and listen to the group and listen, let, take the ideas from the Padlet, basically to see um, some trends and come up with those trends to put them together into your elevator speech. Um, right, 
strong and short draft statements, eliminate unnecessary words because this is only 30 seconds. Uh, when we return to the group, then you will have a chance to share your elevator speech. The note taker, you're going to post the elevator speech when it's your turn in the chat box and the speaker, you're gonna read it for us all and then we'll give you a clap and, and talk about all of them. Any questions on how this works? Okay, we're gonna try it. I will be bouncing into your breakout rooms to kind of help and make sure that you understand what to do. Um, and, um, and, and that's what we are going to do. Sorry, I might've missed this. How many, how long are we planning You're gonna on? have 10 minutes. Okay, thanks. Okay, ready? Here we go. can't remember the roles that she had us doing. So facilitator, uh, note, -taker. note taker, person. Okay. Yeah. And I will actually go ahead and copy and paste some of those in the chat window so that you guys will be able to volunteer for one of those roles and get going. Thanks for that, Tawny. Yeah. I took, I took notes in a uh, notepad for it, but a uh, question for you, uh, the subject we're talking about, do we just roll with whatever's on our mind? Um, well, we're going to go to the Padlet and we're kind of basically taking our ideas from those three questions. Um, but if there okay. is something that's on your mind that hasn't been addressed, then go with that too. Okay, so it's the Padlet we're focused on. Yes. So I don't mind being a facilitator. I like organization and I'm open-minded, but uh, you said we need to introduce ourselves okay. for a minute. Yeah, go ahead really quickly. Um, I, I just did a bad thing and it's telling you you're gonna return the main yeah. session. So let me try and fix that. This is my first time doing breakout rooms. So just a minute. Oh, you're killing me here. I know, I know. Sally, I think you put it for one minute instead of 10 minutes. Andrew, I'm you. Um, I know, and it's not letting me change it. So I'm, everybody's gonna come back in. I'm going to, and then put everybody back in. Sorry, it's learning. Okay. That's <laughs> all right. Sorry guys. Um, what happened is I clicked the wrong button and um, did only give you like one minute instead of 10 minutes and it wasn't letting me edit. So we are going to go right back into these rooms. You'll have nine minutes. Um, I, the room I was in for just a minute, they did ask a, a clarifying question. And so I wanna make sure I do clarify that to you. What are you doing? The purpose is kind of, kind of up to you guys. Remember there's three roles, determine a facilitator, a um, note taker, and the um, speaker. And then while you are in there, you're basically discussing online learning from the spring. Things that we can take away from it to make the fall better. Um, you can discuss some of the things that we put or you saw the trends on the Padlet 
or if there's things that weren't mentioned on there, then you can come up with that. So here we go. We're going right back in there. Thanks, you guys. About Lisette, I think I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> You're pronouncing it right. Yay. <laughs> okay, so my struggles were um, like I was motivated to do the work. It's just like all my teachers had me going to different websites and it got super confusing because if I was looking for one assignment, it was on this different website and another assignment it was on another. And I couldn't really ask for help. And when I did ask for help, they were like, oh, it's simple. But they didn't really help me out. So you That's feel like you're, you feel like when you ask questions to your teachers, you didn't get responses quickly or you didn't get clear answers? Yeah, I didn't get clear responses. And how did you usually ask? Did you email, message teachers? What did you usually do? I actually had a phone call with one of my teachers and that cleared out some of it, but... Catherine and I both, we have students and parents who are, I guess, <laughs> we, we do have independent, we have technology in our house. We kind of have, we have what our kids need to succeed, I'd say, but, I, but I'm sure Mr. Kornberg and everybody is more, not just more worried about, but where, where the kids that are going to drop out are these kids who really don't have any parents will help any drive motivation on their own and who are being helped by the teachers daily at school and by the counselors so how in the world i mean that's probably everybody's fear right how do we how do we keep them motivated and moving on and learning? which leads to my biggest thing i weakness i saw was just the lack of the structure in the day you know my daughter well it's good they can do it on their own time but there was no mandatory beginning time you know she's sleep until 10 and reading a book till noon and then get i think we're going to have to determine one is are we going to use canvas as the format but if we're going to do online class meetings do you believe that i need to specify one source there like zoom or google meet so i see two decisions being made there what's your opinion my opinion is i say we stick with canvas we're looking at all the universities or a majority of the universities that these kids are going to go to already use that and getting them ready for that and familiar with it just makes that transition easier and it's a good platform that's already there 
I yeah. liked it because I could see what was going on with Aaron, you know, with his with his canvas. Yeah. But then I was right there and I knew how to do it. If I was a parent that didn't know, that would be hard. And so I'm yeah, so that's something canvas add uh email in Canvas. I get yeah. notifications, but yeah, it's a message. Uh it's essentially it's a message email thing. So. Yeah, you'd have to be on the student profile. You have to be in their canvas. Okay, so um uh, is it time to go back in, Sally? But there uh, is a way this is your one minute warning. Okay. okay. One minute Teachers warning. can so email parents as well on that. You know, on the canvas, they uh, if the uh, there's a way where they can mail the teacher or the student and the parent at the same time. Okay. On canvas, and, and it and it probably. Hi, you guys. I know that was really quick and you weren't ready. <laughs> Interrupted. I know, I know. Man, an hour goes way too quick. At first, I was ahead of time and then I got way behind. But oh. so um, I, I popped into a lot and a lot of good things are being shared. And so I want to, um, we're going to start with breakout room number one. And you might not know that you're number one. That was um, Ariana, Dan. Ethel, Christy, Scott, and Tawny's room. So whoever your speaker is and your note taker, go ahead, you can um, copy your notes into the chat box and unmute yourself and go ahead, whoever your speaker is and tell us what you have to say. Never really defined a, a speaker. Uh, so either a note taker uh, uh, or myself will talk. Okay, Dan, go for it. Okay, so I guess uh, Tani can uh, put notes, but essentially we were talking about Zoom meetings, um, the inconsistency that uh, some teachers wouldn't use them, some teachers would have uh, um, different meetings, we talked about them conflicting a little, they were all showing up on Friday, which was interesting, I'd never heard that um, for some of the students. Um, another one was, uh, you know, as a teacher, how long the Zoom meeting might be, uh, an hour and a half versus a curriculum of five minutes. Uh, what, what could the possible uh, solutions be? And, and for some, the kids might need a half an hour. For others, they come on five minutes and leave. But the A, B schedule was also a, uh, a theme was um, it, it, the Zoom meetings showing up during class time like we have in the A, B, as opposed to them conflicting as a possible solution. Um, those are some ideas thrown out. That was it. Okay, that's good. So um, basically Zoom meetings, a lack of consistency, and um, being available to, to help the student uh, via Zoom if necessary. Okay, it looks like Aaron, uh, Aaron from Breakout Room 3, you guys volunteering to go next? Yes, so Tegan, go ahead. Sorry, no, that was me just hitting enter before I should. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll go with you, so go for it. Well, um, we basically, um, we did talk about that, um, kind of like the schedule. We didn't reach the resolution, but that was definitely um, a concern because um, we want to structure, but then we also know um, there's some siblings that might be fighting for computer time or you know, the, the JPEG and, and all of that. But uh, one thing we did say that was positive is that the parents really did like that for us. Um, so I think as far as maybe teachers being all on the same page, maybe we all just kind of that canvas. And that was pretty much as far as we got. Awesome. Thank you. So it's sounding like everybody, parents, students, teachers, everybody wants a consistency on the platform that we're using. And I heard that as I went into a few different rooms. So I, 
that, that's hard for some teachers to take away their autonomy, but um, that might be admin something that we just need to go ahead and do. Um, let's go back to breakout room two, and that was with Jay, Jen, Kale, Lizette, and Ruth. Yep, so I, I got nominated as, as spokesman. Uh, it's kind of the, the high points of what we talked about was, was this same, this recurring theme of too many platforms. Um, really challenging for, for, for my student to be able to, to go in and, and find where all of her assignments were. Um, also, the, just the, the interaction that, that was occurring um, student teacher teacher student um was was challenging i i think that there were you know a lot of students that kind of just dropped off the face of the earth and you know if they didn't have their parents were really um pushing them or if they weren't motivated that they weren't they weren't engaging they weren't doing their work um but also then from from the student to the teacher um teachers not always not always teaching the subject, post, posting an assignment out there and expecting the student to figure out how to do it, which um, in technical classes, the, the, the sciences and the maths and some of those things, um, you know, unless you have a parent that really knows that subject matter, becomes almost impossible to, to do those, those class assignments that, that come about. Awesome, thank you. Okay. Hey, Jay, before, before we leave you, if it's okay, as a parent, would it have helped you uh, to know Canvas and the format? Or your kids figured that out on their own and were okay with it? And this is the principle. Jay, I think that question's yeah. for you. <laughs> yeah, no, I, yeah, I, I mean, I, th I think it's a fair question. Um, you know, in terms of, in terms of that, I, w I was, I got, I got uh, sent work from, work from home about the same time that school happened. And so I was doing, you know, 10, 12 hours a day working my own job. And so, you know, my wife, when she would get home from work, was kind of going through Canvas and, and other things and saying, okay, what's not done, identifying assignments that, um, didn't have grades on it, but that well wasn't always indicative of whether the assignment had actually been turned in or not. Yeah. And so there were a lot of times where um, something appeared to be missing, but either it wasn't it wasn't graded yet, or there was nothing to say this is done. And so there were there was a lot of emails going back and forth saying, you know, my daughter says this is done, but there's no grade, and then the teacher comes back and says yes, it's done, or no, it's not done. And then you go back and you find out that it was done, but you didn't hit submit or, you know, just little things that, that were a challenge to get through to make sure that everything was really done like it needed to be done. Okay. Well, you have um, in group five, we have a suggestion for that. So okay, go for, actually, we'll go to group five and then we'll come back to group four. So go ahead, group five. <laughs> okay, we had some of the same um, issues. We need to be on this, the teachers need to be on the same platform, Canvas. If there's a Canvas, um, teachers need, or parents need to be uh, taught. They need to, we have to have a meeting or something where they can learn Canvas. If I wasn't a teacher, I wouldn't have known, you know, how to use it at all. There's communication we had a big, uh, we had a big problem with and, um, you know, the communication, there's a way to uh, to communicate to parents on Canvas, but if parents don't know how to get that inbox, then they're, you know, being sent different ways. Um, let's see. Uh, right at first, there was too much work. Your students got overwhelmed. Um, parents got overwhelmed. And then motivation for students, teachers, uh, motivation if uh, teachers can send out even once a week, a, a bulk email, and then check up on kids, you know, throughout the week, see how they're doing through the, in, you know, the inbox. Um, and then uh, the uh, parents or students need to be checking their inbox and the emails. They need to, you know, make sure that they're doing that and being responsible in that. Um, let's see. What else? I think that was about it. Uh, just um, checking the inbox. Training for parents prior to dismiss, dismissal of the online learning. So yeah, 
teachers, uh, parents need to l know that, you know, know about Canvas. Awesome. Thank you. And I think the admin has something planned for me to help do that in the fall as we start to maybe have a meeting with parents. So that's in the works. Awesome. Thank you for those suggestions. Um, breakout room four, you guys are last. That's Brent, Chriselle, admin, Pace, um, Rigby, and, and Steve Steven, that's big person. on teachers and admin. Mm -hmm. Let's All right. I think I got nominated as a spokesman here. Um, we talked a little bit about wanting a again a uniform platform and we all decided that we really liked canvas and if we would encourage everybody to make that just a unified platform for the school i mean the colleges are using it most high school students have have used it now so we think we should make that unified for everybody and we also kind of talked about making a big push of having parents be an observer in their canvas courses I think in my role of like 40 people in a Canvas course, there might have been five parent observers. So maybe somehow the instructions for parents to get them to observe the course, that way they can kind of know more what's going on. And then as far as a video platform to teach and stuff, um, we didn't really come, a, we don't really have a, we don't know if we should make that just a teacher's choice or have everybody stick with Zoom. We were kind of talking about that before it got cut off. I know Canvas has some options, but most people seem to be pretty familiar with Zoom. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we give the teachers choices on that or what. That's pretty much what we talked about. Okay, awesome. Um, perfect, okay, that took a little longer than I anticipated. We, and I just wanna warn you up front, this might end up going just a few minutes past 10, but if you need to, jump off, then do so, because I told you it was only going to be that long. And um, we're gonna be really close. Um, the next thing that I want to um, talk about is the future and where we're headed next. So all these things that you said, um, if you were the note taker, if you don't mind just putting in a few notes from what you said, so we will have, um, the information from it that would be great um but where sorry i'm in the middle of doing <laughs> something else as i'm i'm talking um and i'm almost there so okay there we go um i'm going to now share my screen back with our um Okay, this next group, we're gonna be in another breakout room. And this time you're gonna be with your student, all the students are gonna be together and there's not as many students as I'd hoped. I'm gonna jump in and just make sure you guys are okay. Parents, you guys are all gonna be together. Teachers, you're together. And admin, you guys are gonna be together. And most of you are already together right now. So that will be easy. Um, in here, what you're going to be doing is you're going to, um, gonna be reflecting on the following questions. Um, and my, let me make this bigger so you can see. The first thing is you're going to be thinking of three things your group, so if you're in the student group, what are three things that you guys can do better to prepare for online learning if this continues or some form of it continues for the fall? Um, spring, the next thing to think of is spring 2020 was a temporary solution to this worldwide crisis. So what two things can or should we do from that to prepare for more permanent type of learning this fall and moving forward? And then the very last thing that I want you to do is you're going to create a five item wish list. If your you know, students, parents, five things that you ask of teachers, admin, this is, and you can be asking of anybody else, what are those five things to um, for the fall and moving forward that you would like to see happen at Harriman High School. Note taker, you're going to put your responses here and I'm gonna put that in the chat too um, so that everyone can access this document where we're going to record our notes. Um, and basically once you get into your room, do very quick introductions. If you're a big group and you feel like that's not necessary, then just start going. 
three roles again, somebody volunteer to be the facilitator, somebody note taker, that's gonna be important as you're putting the information on the document. And um, we might not have time for the speaker because we're going over time as is. So um, I am going to say we're gonna have 10 minutes though, so that will put us at 11.05. Again, if you need to sneak out before then, then that's okay. Um, we're gonna come back, talk for five minutes after that, and then at uh, 11.10, we'll be out of here. So. Any questions before we go into our final breakout room? Does everybody have access to the document that I shared in the chat? Okay, now I will send you to your breakout rooms. Maybe. <laughs> of course, it doesn't wanna work now, guys. It escaped to get out of full screen. Oh, okay. Thanks. This is why we have Stuart. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Here, Ganga. Hey, and there you go. All right. <laughs> you guys are Davis Wild. <laughs> I just wanted to pop in and say thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so there's just four of you and, and three of you are my students. Ariana, thank you for coming too. Mr. Howden um, had recommended you to come. Um, I know a lot of you came because of Emma Lindsay and she sent me, a, she was having Zoom problems this morning. So um, can one of you access that document and take notes for everybody else? You got it, Kel? I, I, I can take notes. I mean, somebody else is here too, but. Uh, okay, oh good. Okay. Well, you're probably gonna see a lot of other people because there's oh, teachers, parents, everybody on there. Uh, they're putting it in the wrong one. Oh, putting, okay. Some other people are putting, some teachers or parents are okay. putting it. Okay, I'll go, in I'll go talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, thank you. Well, uh, I'll go. Let's, I'm trying to see. Oh, yep. She's not paying attention. That's the admin. I'll go this, break into her room. Okay. Section. Um, let me jump into the admin room. This is what it's going to look like, and this is the expectations and what you're going to do. Hey guys, so I'm just jumping in real quick. It looks like you started. Oh, Julie, you changed it. I was going to know. Where's Where's the admin? All part. the way at the bottom. So just keep scrolling. Oh, okay. Okay, you good? Yeah, I got it. Okay, thanks you guys. Thanks. So, different, op different operating. Doesn't the student have to send you the parent a code? I, yeah. I couldn't go in and do yeah. it myself. Mm -hmm. okay. So basically learning Canvas, what are the, uh, and the Chromebooks, what are some other things that we can do to better prepare? Oh gosh, like having a what what Murray did, which I thought was really cool, is they did so they did 30 minute classes, um, and they had like A day was Monday, Wednesday, B day was Tuesday, Thursday, and then Friday was like uh free for all. Like teachers were just available to help with whatever students need. So it was just like they had Monday, Wednesday, focused on A day classes, Tuesday, Thursday, B day, and then Friday was like whatever students needed help with. I would That's cool. Yeah. I would That's absolutely cool. love that in the long run. Um, and maybe like having, you know, so I know when like the English department or, or the math department or even like, uh, you know, when Tanner's testing or whatever, it's where we have like a dedicated day where we're doing our assessments because I was opening my assessments like on Friday and closing Sunday and it seemed to work well. So some sort of shared document to say when people are doing big assessments so that we're not overwhelming students all at the same time. Yeah, I agree, yeah. I think along with that, something that I heard a lot of students saying was just that Zoom meetings were overlapping. <laughs> So we get like a, a master schedule of like when you're doing your Zoom meeting. So other teachers, I mean, you're probably going to have them all doing it at the same time, but 
I don't know how I that think would work, something, but. something like that I think would be way too much to try and track for all the kids and all the teachers. Yeah, because I guess they all have to yeah, so you just offer them the option. They can jump in live on the classes they need, and then if they need to go back, they can look at the recorded sessions. It'd probably be easier. That makes sense. Yeah, or even just have, like, dedicated departments on one day. Yeah. And the other day, it's in a different department kind of thing. Right. So I might be a little slow, and I'm a little confused on the Murray schedule thing. So you're saying, like, 30-minute classes if it's online? Because I'm looking at Steve Tanner and I. I couldn't do anything in a 30-minute class because we're hands-on which online is hard, hard, hard for us already. So that's where I'm, I'm a little confused what you're saying there. So what they did is they could only have 30 minutes of actual work. So it's like whatever, and I mean, we can choose whatever we want, but it's like your class could only, like of the homework they had to do, could only be 30 minutes. So you could only have 30 minutes that they, which is only an hour a week, which I agree, especially okay. with. So you're saying, and if it's all online, only 30 minutes. I'm like, oh yeah. If I thought online. you were saying if we were doing a blended thing and I was like, oh crap. <laughs> no, yeah, okay. if it was all online. Any other wish list items? Aaron, are you, you taking notes group, on this? Is yeah, that I'm okay, because I'm not seeing them on my screen, but maybe they're there and I just can't see them. Oh, I was, do I need to do notes now? I was just writing it down on a paper and then I'll Oh, that's it. fine. I've actually been typing it in, so edit what I put. Oh, you or, yeah, you do that. <laughs> I'm not seeing that either, but I don't have my thing up. Does anybody in here teach driver's ed? Hawkins, where did he go? <laughs> his <laughs> Hawkins is on the range. Power the range right now. now. Yes, he is on the range. Away. So he <laughs> is in and out. What was I don't know if oh, sorry, go well, ahead. Well the question, Sally, we talked about this earlier. And so my question was, don't during driver's ed, don't they do so much book work and then they schedule their drive time? Yeah, and they wouldn't even, I mean, many, many people were frustrated because they weren't letting them schedule drive times until like the very end of May. Um, right. And so. Well, no, the, the question was, oh, look, I want to run my shop the same way. <laughs> so they do so much online stuff, but then that qualifies them to, once they've completed that, passed that, then it qualifies them to come into the shop and use what they've learned. And so I was going to ask about that scheduling process. But. So Brent, why don't you enlighten us on how you schedule the range and times like that? Uh, for driver's ed? Yeah. 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 Uh, so basically what I did is I, I, I just kind of used the email system and just set up a schedule for them. And uh, it's groups of five. It was basically just alphabetical. So I put them in groups of five and told them what time to be here. Okay, so you scheduled their time on the range. I did, yeah. Okay. They need three different ranges. Um, they're two hours each, so it's just, you know, organizing that schedule for them. And then I have to make sure I provide enough makeup days and times so that uh, if there is a conflict, they, they have options. Hey, you guys, I'm going to pause real quick and just tell you, based on – the fact that we haven't gotten through very much. I'm going to give us some more minutes. If you do need to jump off, you can, but I'm going to give till 1108. Um, that leaves you four more minutes. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Item, so the class is being broadcast to be taught, period. But if you could just incorporate that in the classrooms, then you could have students just log into the WebEx and um, have the classroom. class being taken, you know, they could choose to stay home. They could still be counted as present as far as attendance goes. Um, Is this something they can watch like after the fact? Like say they don't yeah, necessarily it was, need to it's recorded. Oh, cool. it, okay. it was recorded and, and if you missed, you could go back and watch it okay. later. Okay, cool. I'll throw it on the little notables. A... WebEx broadcasting as an option. Um, yeah, I, I like got the a list for you selling. Hey, you guys, sorry. I'm going to jump in because you probably saw that it's like 11.05 and I haven't brought you back. Um, just based off the document and the notes that were being put in there, I was going to give you about three more minutes till 11.08. Is that okay? 
Uh, mm -hmm. I think we're pretty much wrapped up, to be honest. But oh, awesome. Okay, and we, we could add more if you want. <laughs> okay, no, that's okay. Have you put your information on the the doc? I can put it on Zoom right now. Okay. Um, do you have the link to the Google Doc? Uh, no. Can you okay. Post I'm in the, the chat. chat. Mm -hmm. But can we see that chat while we're in the group? You, well, if the, you oh, minimize your off. screen, okay. then you can. So I'm going to, if you can't so you figure it out. Oh, there it is. Students. Yeah. Oh, so scroll down to see where it says parents. If that's too oh, okay. a hassle, don't worry about it. But um, uh, I'm just going to put my raw notes and you can fill it. Perfect. In perfect. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to pop in and see how the other groups are doing. Thank you. Okay. Um, hey, Mrs. Wild. <laughs> How are you guys doing? We're pretty good, actually, I think. Oh, you are. Okay, I'm giving um, you a couple more minutes, two more minutes, in fact, until um, 11.08. If any of you need to leave, you can, but you guys are amazing. So, thank you, thank you. Uh, any questions for me before I pop out? I don't think so, unless they have something. Okay. Uh, However, I can go the recorded, but I may not be able to ask specific questions that I need help with. So I don't, I don't know. I really don't have a, an idea where to go with it. I, I, my brain does not, I don't know that there's a way that we can dictate a schedule. Do, do you guys see that working? That's where I struggle the most with in trying to figure out how I logistics wise I just don't know how it's going to work because we're going to get pushed back from parents saying well I've only got one computer and I've got three kids in elementary middle school and high school right. and conflicting times and right and it's just not working and to those parents I don't know what to say and so I don't know that we can ever find the solution that's going to work for everyone other than those teachers recording themselves and putting right. it online and that's, I think that's that the works. solution I, I think, think that's I think the they have office hours. Right. That they can access the teacher. So one of the things, and I don't know if it was Alpine, but in one of the things that I've read, Mondays the teachers don't teach. They yeah. they, uh -huh. they, they prep. Alpine. They prep and then that could be their um you guys about. They could prep and then that could be their office hours even where they could I think they need daily office hours. And I know that might piss some people off but yeah. we're paying you eight hours a day can you not be available do you guys have enough time to finish yeah. yeah. It could go on and on and on. It can. It definitely can. But that is the purpose of a think tank. You think. <laughs> you think, you get ideas, you throw them off the wall. If they stick, you know, spaghetti's done. So, yeah. Yes. I. But I do, Todd did pop into the one breakout, the, the first breakout. He was in ours. And we did get to that conversation about getting a standard platform and admin stepping up to say, this is what we have to do. So. Yeah, I think they're realizing yeah. it's, it's hard because I know teachers like autonomy, but yeah, I think that's, that's hopefully where the move is. Okay, hey, it looks like you're all back. Yay, okay, you guys. Um, man, my original plans were to go through the document together. Um, but I promised you that we were only going to be here till 11 and it's already 11.10. And so um, you, uh, you guys tell me, uh, you turn your microphones off. Do you want to stay and talk about this? Do you think we have the information? We can go from there. Um, I, I need some feedback from y'all. Uh, me personally, I need to disappear, but I think you have a flood. I think that it's pretty self-explanatory. Okay. Okay. I can stay.
Um, a couple people do want to stay and finish. What I'm going to do is before you leave, if you need to leave, that is perfect. Um, but what I do need, or I'm going to ask, and you can do it later, um, but copy and paste this um, into your browser so that you can do it at some time. This is just a form that I would like you to fill out based on what happened today, um, what you think we didn't talk about that we still need to talk about, and, um, and, and your thoughts about this meeting. So, so that's where you are. And then if you feel like you're good, go ahead, click on the link, exit the meeting, and you're good to go. Thank you, Mr. Pace, for helping. Appreciate you. I know some of you need to leave. Um, you've messaged me. Go ahead, leave. You're good to go. But for those that do want to talk about the document, we can. I am happy. I, I have some time so I can stay and talk with anybody who'd like to stay. Okay. So we will just give those people that do need to leave just a second to um, do that. And those of us that are going to stay, I'm gonna share my screen again. Um, and, and, and basically, um, I wanna kinda just go through the form that you guys filled out. Is that up on the screen right now? Can you guys see it? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, students, did any of you stay? Are you here? Are you represented? I am rep, I'm here. I'll perfect, be <laughs> thank you, Kel. It looks like Lizette is still here. And oh, it looks like most all of you guys are here. So students, you start out. Tell us what, go for it. Okay, uh, I was the note taker. Two, I don't know if one of them, we didn't really get to choose a spokesperson because I thought we wouldn't convene again. But um, so like, what are the three things your group can do better to prepare for online learning? I think every student should kind of make a, we decided that every student should make a weekly schedule or to-do list to keep track of what they need to be doing. Um, uh, also to keep communication open between the students and teachers through email or Zoom and other methods, just make sure they're, um, keeping up with that um, and the third thing was checking our emails canvas and skyward regularly because I know some teach if not all teachers had some information going out on one of those Kel, can I ask you a question um, a parent mentioned in one of our meetings that students felt like they couldn't reach out to teachers because I think you're hundred percent right like the communication is so so key um, is there something that teachers do that make you feel like you can't communicate or is there something that they're doing that makes you feel like you can just as far as for all students really to open that up is there something that we can do to help keep that communication open um, yeah if any of the other students want to just because I don't have the answers I see this <laughs> Hey, Lizette, I know when I popped into yours once, I know you were saying that you had a hard time communicating. Do you want to talk about that at all? Um, yeah, because a lot of my teachers were saying that they were getting several emails from parents and um, students. So I felt like if I emailed them, they wouldn't see my email. And actually, I emailed my math teacher a couple times and I never got a response. Okay. Okay, so as a student, you felt like teachers were letting you know that they were being overwhelmed with emails, and so you you felt like you couldn't email them because either it would get lost or because it it was just too overwhelming as it, w it was. That's yeah. actually that's good feedback for us teachers to to know because you guys are really our, our number one concern and so we need to let everybody know that it's okay if they're overwhelmed that you guys are our first priority so that's really good to know um hey sally yeah um i found that it was easier for me to follow the students emails if they would send it through canvas rather than through the standard school email yeah, and I did too because it, you know, it has that box that you haven't read it yet, and you know, right. it's on our phone. Uh, if we get our emails on our phones, then we're looking at it as we're doing a zillion different things. So that's that's something to keep in mind too. That's good to know. Thank you both, Steve and Lizette. Okay, Kale, you want to keep moving? 
on to what solutions can we take with us? I would kind of like put some of the solutions on our five item list, but um, one of them was we talked about teachers not posting at like a regular time every week because sometimes they'd get assignments aren't posted until like Thursday while most assignments are by Monday. Oh, we lost him. Yeah, Cal, are you there? No. There. No. There you go. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, uniform time when all the content um, for the class has been posted so we can make that weekly schedule and keep track of what assignments we need yeah, to do. That's good. That's a good idea. Um, would have it been helpful, a uh, uniform time, for, like school-wide, like all teachers need to have their assignments posted by Monday at 8 a.m.? Um, you know, that I think would be great. Uh, I don't know if that would realistically work. If every teacher, you know, sometime beginning of the week, like, hey, I'm going to have all this on here by Tuesday morning. I'll have all my content. If As long as you know that teacher ha what time they have everything posted, I think that would be okay. But I don't know exactly what the other students think. Uh, I know it's not easy to always have everything posted for the teachers. I don't want to be unrealistic like that. Um, the other one was spread out Zoom meetings throughout the week instead of all like on Friday. I know one of the parents mentioned that. Um, and then our five item list was the first two. And uh, I know some of we talked about that um, we didn't, some of the assignments we didn't, really didn't know how to do. So they were posted and the teachers had expected them to know what to do. So you'd get to the assignment and you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. And a lot of times that would lead them to just not turn it in because they don't know what they're doing. Um, so either, I know my math teacher, Mrs. Cousins, she just made some videos covering the material um, as we went along and that really helped. Um, I felt like I knew what I was doing. Um, if that's not possible or if you can't get it out in time, um, just providing some kind of resource so we can figure out what we're doing um, through Canvas or whatever. Um, number four was, all, I say all teachers should learn how to use Canvas uh, effectively. Like there's announcements on Canvas. There's like a tab of like 10 different things you can do on Canvas. Mm -hmm. So utilizing that um, helps make, makes things a lot easier for us as students to know uh, what we're doing and to keep track of everything. And uh, there was a few other things. I don't know if, if any of the other students want to say something. Um, feel free because I don't know if I remembered everything. Hey, I want to give Kale, and uh, you were the speaker, but all of the students who attended a big, huge round of applause, you guys are amazing and, and you're the purpose that we're here. And that I think probably is the most um, useful feedback. I'm, I'm hearing a lot, um, we, we need to move to Canvas and everybody needs to understand how to use it. So that's perfect. Um, and these suggestions that you provided are spot on and key. So thank you students for participating. You, there weren't many of you, but you know that your voices are heard. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, any of you students wanna say anything else? Anyone? Awesome, okay, we're gonna move to parents. Parents, who's your speaker? Anybody want to volunteer? <laughs> Sorry, I think Dan left. Oh, <laughs> that's right. I can do it. <laughs> um, so three things our group can do better to prepare for online and just learn Canvas. I mean, I think a lot of the parents aren't really familiar, even know that they can observe their student. Um, schedule at home help be more social. I think that maybe but just making a schedule for the kids sorry I can't remember exactly um, but the the social aspect was really important we felt like our kids really struggled with that more than anything else was not having that interaction with their friends and being together um, and then again parents being able to reach out um, our one of our concerns was that there's there's a lot of students that don't have home support they don't have parents that are concerned or interested or anything and so just making sure the teachers can fill that role as as needed with the, the families that don't have as much support. Um, what we liked was students could work at their own pace. I know I felt like my daughter was finally getting enough sleep, right? So she wouldn't start till later in the morning, but she was able to get through her stuff pretty quickly. 
um, all things considered, but I felt like she was better because she had slept. Um, we also found mostly that teachers were pretty flexible and willing to help um, help the students out if they had you know gotten a bind or something. I know that was true for my student. Um, and then a wish list. Uh, they wanted to have Chromebooks, so one to one option, so that all students they didn't have to share at home or whatever. That that was an option. Um, teachers checking in more with kids. I think that just goes to like my daughter didn't want to email a teacher if I had a wanted a clarification. She's like, I'm not gonna do that, right? So just maybe the teachers reaching out a little bit more one on one. Um, as far as the fall, uh, not everyone's ready to go back to school. Um, some people are just finding that balance where there's maybe a hybrid option um, and kids aren't penalized for not being in the classroom, but that there's videos or conferences or some way to do that, whether it's you're at school part time and at home part time, maybe have the classes be smaller where only half the class is coming on a particular day. Um, that would be a little bit safer. Then also another issue was um, not penalizing kids if they are sick. We know that kids going to school sick or parents sending the kids to school sick is a problem before this. Um, and I know my kids, my older kids who've already graduated, there were problems if they weren't feeling well, but they couldn't miss a test or a choir thing or, or something, they were penalized for that. And I think we need to be cognizant of not doing that. Uh, more flexibility on deadlines or at least better communication. There was some discussion that deadlines weren't clear. And so like one student missed a deadline and there was no flexibility, got a zero for that assignment. Um, and then I know my daughter, there were some things I asked when it was due, she says, I don't know. So we need to, <laughs> some classes were great, like everything's due Friday and that worked really well. Um, and then again, something to be more social, to get the kids together somehow. I think that was the hardest thing for the high schoolers, a lot of them. Awesome. Hey, huge shout out to the parents. You guys all volunteered. I appreciate you all for coming, for, for voicing your concerns and suggestions. These are wonderful and things that um, my wish list on the top of mine, you can ask Mr. Kornberg, it was also to have Chromebooks one-to-one. -one. That would be ideal. Um, and I don't know what or how long that will take. I know, sadly, that education's losing funding this year. And so, um, but it might be able to be an option that we can um, help families um, know where the best place is to get Chromebooks so that they could have Chromebooks in the hands of their students or something like that. Um, and and yes, number five, the, the flexibility on, on deadlines or set or the consistency, I think is important too. So thank you, thank you, thank you, parents. You guys are key in this because you're at home with the kids and you know what it looks like at home. Um, and and as a parent of a student at Harriman who her student was also, my child was failing up till the last week of school, um, it was hard. It was not an easy thing to get through with, with parents or students. So thank you, thank you, thank you, parents. Teachers, who wants to be the voice? No one wants to. <laughs> I thought we had one, but I can if you want me to. Okay, go for it. Um, we actually talked quite a bit and probably put the notes down a little less than we talked. Um, so if I miss anything, guys, jump in. Um, but the three things that we talked about doing to be prepared, um, and a lot of it's already been mentioned, we talked about having, you know, set schedules um, so that the teachers aren't overlapping with meetings and important like tests and stuff um, where they can have certain days so the kids aren't 